Dental Amalgam The first known dental amalgam was used by Chinese in 659 AD and it was made from tin and silver. Although modern amalgam was introduced in the western world in early 1800s and at that time amalgam contained small amount of mercury which was mixed with melted silver coins. But at that time, the major problem was with the retention of the filling. Amalgam became admissible filling material when G. V. Black gave the principles of tooth preparation. So, by following these principles, amalgam had better retention and strength. Now, moving into the introduction of amalgam, the simplest definition of amalgam would be an alloy that contains mercury. Dental amalgam is an alloy that is formed by reacting mercury with silver, tin and copper. Zinc and palladium are added in it to improve the handling properties. In spite of many controversies regarding the use of mercury, the question arises why to use mercury in dental amalgam. So mercury is the only metal which is liquid at room temperature and it can be mixed with an alloy. When mercury is mixed with metal, Mercury diffuses into metal particles and crystals begins to precipitate out. During this phase, metal particles coexist with liquid mercury, giving the mixture the plastic consistency. Due to which amalgam can be adapted to any shape by using light pressure with the help of condenser. The process of mixing liquid mercury with one or more metals or alloys to form an amalgam is referred to as amalgamation, whereas dituration means mechanical mixing of amalgam alloy particles with mercury in a device, whether it be an amalgamator or it can be mortar and pestle. As we have discussed previously that an amalgam contains mercury and an alloy. So let's look into the classification of the dental amalgam alloys. Dental amalgam alloys can be classified according to the particle shape and copper content. On the basis of copper content, there can be low copper alloys or high copper alloys. High copper alloys are further divided into admix or single composition alloys. Now according to the particle shape, alloys can be lathe cut, spherical or admix. We will discuss them one by one. Now, lathe cut alloys are those alloys which have irregularly shaped alloy particles. These alloy particles are produced by miling or lathe cutting a cast ingot of alloy. Whereas spherical alloys have particles which are spherical in shape. And these are produced by atomizing a liquid alloy in a chamber filled with an inert gas. Admix alloys is the mixture of spherical and lathe kit alloys as you can see in the picture. If we compare lathe kit alloys with spherical alloys, so generally lathe kit alloys are more resistant to condensation which means better condensation as compared to spherical alloys. Due to better condensation, lathe kit have better contours and carved surfaces as compared to spherical. The major drawback of lathe kit alloys is that they require more mercury as compared to spherical. Admix alloys have favorable properties of both lathe kit and spherical. Now let's move on to the classification of dental amalgam alloy on the basis of copper content. On the basis of copper content, there can be low copper alloys or high copper alloys. Low copper or conventional alloys have copper content which do not exceed to 6%. On the other hand, high copper alloys contain copper from 6 up to 30%. High copper alloys are generally admix alloys or single composition alloys. Let's look into the composition of dental amalgam alloys. Both low copper alloys and high copper alloys contain silver and tin as the basic ingredient. Whereas the difference lies in the content of copper. Zinc is added which acts as a deoxidizer. Now let's have a look at the various setting reaction phases of amalgam. Gamma phase is the strongest phase of amalgam and it comprises of silver and tin. 
Gamma 1 phase is the second strongest phase of amalgam comprising of silver and mercury. Gamma 2 phase comprising of tin and mercury is the weakest phase of amalgam. It is formed in low copper alloys whereas in high copper alloys gamma 2 phase is largely replaced by eta phase containing copper and tin. We will discuss setting reaction in detail in the next video.